guys thank you so much for checking out the channel please leave a like and a sub if you can if you will if you please it would help out a lot it also lets me know you would like to be on top of more news stories such as this one this is really an update of an earlier video i did about the ps2 themed ps5 i'll leave the link to that video down below if you want to check out why i feel it is a scam and even now more so than ever something really concerning has happened and i'll share that with you and also by the end of the video you'll know of a theory that i have uh, hopefully it does not end up being true but it is making this system look a lot sketchier than i first realized super spelled sup3r5 on twitter has updated his 1000 followers when i did the video a couple of days ago he was at 100 now he's at a thousand this is gaining traction and hopefully i can reach enough people out there and warn them that uh, this is not such an, a good idea but he is updating his followers of the drop date for the pre-order beginning january 8th he also went on to explain the significance of why it's only 304 consoles he says it's a callback to the original launch date of march 4th of 2000 however can you please explain what's going on with this 30th anniversary seal PS1 came out in 1994 and the PS2 came out in 2000 this does not make sense whatsoever uh, and as I explained in the first video, he's going to disassemble this, so it's definitely going to void the warranty. But he is also selling the console. A console that is really hard to find at the moment. Where is he getting these consoles from? Well, I have a theory that what if, you guys, what if this is a group of scalpers that are trying to unload their inventory? But the fact that, you know, he could easily just make the controller and the faceplates. He doesn't need to ship it all together. When you take a step back and think about it, why doesn't he just make the limited edition uh, plates and the controller? Why is he having to sell the whole console? So, you know, that just got me to thinking, what if they are, have a stockpile of PS5s that they're trying to unload at uh, even a higher price than they would if they scalped the consoles? But that's just a theory, you guys, that I have. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about that. Would you actually drop money for one of these consoles um it's not looking good you guys this thing is not looking good it's just my opinion let me know in the comments what you think about it and also share this video with others who are interested in getting this console i hope uh they don't i hope they take a step back and to kind of think about it an addition controller would be cool but why the whole console why not just the plates on their own thank you so much for checking out the channel stay safe stay awesome you're cool